an anarchist, an ignorant pacifist. That's what they said. A great American industrialist was under attack. It was 1916 and the Chicago Tribune had just published a scathing editorial accusing Henry Ford of being disloyal to his country and a man of no common sense. As you might guess, Ford was not pleased, so he sued the paper for slander. When it came time for the car magnate to take the stand, the newspaper's lawyers were ruthless, haranguing Ford with questions about American history to demonstrate his ignorance and lack of patriotism. Who was Benedict Arnold? How many soldiers did the British send over in 1776? Ford didn't know. He was not a highly educated man, but he was dangerously smart. After a continuing barrage of questions he couldn't answer, Ford dropped the bomb by responding, if I should really want to answer the foolish questions you've asked, let me remind you that I have a row of electric push buttons on my desk. And by pushing the right button, I can summon to my aid men who can answer any question you desire to ask. Now, will you kindly tell me, why should I clutter up my mind with general knowledge for the purpose of being able to answer your questions when I have men around me who can supply any knowledge I require? The newspaper's attorneys sat dumbfounded. Ford had dismantled their case in 10 seconds flat with the ultimate business certitude. This insightful tidbit of entrepreneurial wisdom is found in Napoleon Hill's classic 1938 book, Think and Grow Rich. After 25 years of research on over 500 millionaires, Hill lays out 13 key principles that lead to success. They range from imagination to autosuggestion to the mystery of sexual transmutation. The story about Henry Ford was used to illustrate the importance of spending your time gaining deep, specialized knowledge in the areas that make you money, and then surrounding yourself with a collective intelligence network, people who know everything else. Your takeaway today? Aren't you curious about the lawsuit? Did the Chicago Tribune slander Ford? Yes, indeed. After a 14-week trial and a half million dollars in legal fees, Ford indeed prevailed. The damage award? Six cents. Rapid Fire Books, when you're hungry for knowledge but starved for time. This is Greg Haig. Thanks for listening.